Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This is what's on my iPhone for October 2012. Um, this is a white 16 gig iPhone 3GS if you're new to the ta channel. Um, I love this phone to bits, guys. Um, I'm all for big, massive 5 inch phones, but I think I still think 3.5 inches is the perfect size because you've just got edge to edge control with your finger or your thumb or whatever. It's the perfect size for me. I love it a bit. I love the design of the older, like the 3G and 3GSs. And this thing flies on iOS 6. It's um, tethered jailbreak at the moment on iOS 6. Uh, it's a new Bootron model, so there's going to be no untethered, but that doesn't really bother me. So this is my lock screen. Um, it's very, very basic. There's, I haven't got a work in like, a custom lock screen for this phone yet on iOS 6. Um, but I sort of like the old, the sort of standard one with your notifications going down there, and I love the camera button by there. That's so so handy. The number of times I've just flicked it up and snap, it's just so so easy. I love it to bits. But yeah, that's my second page. Here's my home screen, my main home screen, and as you can see, I've got like the HTC Flipcock sort of style widget. This is um through per page HTML. I love this widget, and it's just so handy, it gives you everything, it gives you time, weather, forecast, date, the temperature outside, it's it's really, really nice. And it updates every hour, you can change it in iFile to update inf intervals, but I don't want to knacker the battery, so I keep it to an hour. Um, then we've got Safari, I still use Safari over Google Chrome, I can't get along with Google Chrome, I mean, yeah, it's probably quicker, from from what I've seen anyway, but I just prefer Safari, the just simpleness of it, and I love the full screen mode in Safari, it's really, really great. If I just show you that now. It just loads up. I think, is this new in iOS 6? I, I never used iOS 5, so I don't know when it's new, but there you go. It just fills the screen, and it's really, really nice. YouTube. Um, I still prefer the old YouTube app that was on iOS 5 and previous, but I get along with this one just fine. Runs perfect. Camera. I use the camera loads on this thing. It's got a really decent camera, actually. I shoot all my videos with it now. Uh, 3 megapixel autofocus. Um, VGA vid uh, video recording. I only upload my videos in VGA anyway, so it doesn't... Uh, I don't need HD or anything. Um, settings, always jump into settings, just do this or do that. Um, it's one of the advantages Android has over it, just all the toggles, but whatever, I love the settings app. Um, on the dock we have phone, um, obviously it's, it's an iPhone, so it's going to be on there alongside messages. Um, music, I probably use music more than anything else on this phone, I just use music hours every day. Um, and there's the mail. So this is my second page. I've got like um, my social apps up there, and as you may know, I'm a big fan of F1. And um, yeah, that just gives you. Say I'm in the in the car driving somewhere or something, I can just jump into that app, and it gives me up to date sort of info on qualifying times or whatever. It's it's a really nice app. Um, Flipboard. I love Flipboard. It combines Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, RSS feeds everything all just onto one really really nice clean UI um, it's very popular on Android I know that um, I don't think it's quite as well not known but it's not not used as much on the uh, on iOS but it's an awesome awesome app I use it more than the other two there's the uh, Twitter app and there's the Facebook app obviously um, by the way, guys, if you, you may be wondering, why I've got different sort of like notification buttons. Um, I'm using the theme eraser. It doesn't. The icons aren't quite working on iOS 6, but I like the notification things anyway, so I just decided to keep it. Um, yeah, calendar, calculator, uh, clock, my alarms, photos, always jump into there. Notes, stocks, always jump into there. Reminders, always jump into there too. Um, Game Center, Newsstand, and App Store. So these are all like utilities and apps I jump into quite a lot that would probably be on this page if that widget wasn't in the way, but they, they, they're on that page now. This is my third page. I, I have on this page like sort of um, 
big games, if you like, like uh, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, Gangster, Minecraft, FIFA, Real Football 2013, and Scribblenauts. I don't play these that much because they're the kind of games you need to dedicate time to, but they're they're all awesome games, guys. Um, this is a very popular page. I always jump onto this one and I'm bored for five minutes. Got all my Angry Birds games up there, and you got Doodle Jump. Fruit Ninja, um, Cut the Rope and Cut the Rope Experiments, all these apps are very, very well known. Um, Tiny Wings, I love Tiny Wings and I love Temple Run. Um, Flip Side 5 Hockey, Paper Toss, um, Parking Free, that's a really good free app guys. I've mentioned it in a couple of my other videos, but um, yeah, it's a really good free app. It just gives you an ad every half an hour I think it is. Um, it's just one of those games that have sort of look like they've been ported over to Flash. Yeah, this is a new jailbreak, so that's why I haven't completed any levels. But you just tilt and park. It's very simple, but it's quite addictive. Um, and pocket bugs. You may not have heard of this. It takes an age to load up, so I'm not going to bother, actually. But that's a really fun sort of time waster. And then on my last page we have just folders basically. Um, we've got my Apple apps, which are like apps I don't really use that much. For example, Maps, because iOS 6 Maps is just absolutely a pile of dog shit basically. Um, it's awful. I hate it. It thinks my house. I mean, I live in Wales, by the way, guys. South Wales. It thinks my house is in Bristol. Um, constantly when I'm looking to find places it just sends me somewhere else it's lucky I'm not too dependent on maps but next year I will be so um, I hope they sort it out by then um, passbook will probably never use that voice memos I use that for screen recordings because my G5 doesn't have a microphone so I record on here then transfer the audio over um, via cyberduck and we have videos weather I got the weather in my notification center, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, contacts, iTunes, Compass, all that sort of stuff. I don't really use any of that. Um, other games, this folder's a bit bare at the moment, but um, it'll fill up over time, I'm sure. Um, my jailbreak folder. I've got iBlank, Winterboard, PurPage. I really, really recommend PurPage, guys. But the really awesome, awesome widgets. Um, that you can download anything, really. Calendars, clocks everything it's it's really really good activator has to be set in Cydia and iFile television I use well in, in bed I watch quite a lot of TV on this iPhone because um, I'm without a laptop now I've got iTV player, Demand 5, 4OD, BBC iPlayer and TV catch up they're pretty self-explanatory sport we've got racing post and live score um, obviously just for keeping up with scores and uh, finance, pretty self-explanatory. We've got Amazon, Argos, XE currency converter. I use that ridiculously a lot. Very very handy. Um, eBay, of course, I always use eBay. I love eBay. Um, the barcode reader and the QR reader. And then my final final folder, we got Geekbench, uh, Sleeps Light, um, my Xbox Live, TuneIn Radio, which I use a shit ton of. Um, action movie, backgrounds, I translate. Panorama is a really, really good app. Um, highly, highly recommend it. It's, I think it's uh, free as well. So, yeah, definitely, definitely get that if you're on uh, an iPhone 4 or 3GS running iOS 6. Um, emoji, Wikipedia, and iWebcam. I've got my uh, 3GS working as a webcam on my G5, which is totally awesome, and the quality is amazing as well. It does it over Wi Fi. You just need to download uh, the drivers on your Mac and then install this app and you just have to open anything and it'll just connect automatically. It's an incredibly underrated app and I'll probably have a review on that one day because I, I very rarely do app reviews but that is a very, very good app that needs more recognition. So that's everything as far as home screens go. Um, notification center, not much is going on. Um, I haven't downloaded any extra widgets. I kind of like the stock ones. 
I'd like to have space for actual notifications as well. Um, which has got the local weather um, and stocks. Stocks are weirdly, I find them very interesting. I never thought I would, but I do. Um, the two social links uh, to tap to tweet and tap to post. And then we've got Twitter, eBay, phone messages, Facebook, whatever comes up on there. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and as usual, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.